it took so long to respond. But yes, this is part two of the tutorial learning Zelda. Like I said before, I am not a Zelda master, I'm not no Zelda god. I'm just making this video just because of, you know, I found some useful things. And also a video tutorial is always good to get a visual things instead of always reading it on text sometimes people sometimes learn through visuals others might learn you know through reading it because they can just always easily go back or you know whatever the person's preference so if i don't know if i said something wrong and you know i said something wrong you can prove it please correct me you can do that comment on the video because this video is you know to help people out and if you help me help others out you know that's that's yes win so okay with that said um i went on about you know her moves and all that um next thing is learn to space with zelda it's really important to learn to space because her slow moves become really safe like i'll give a quick example which is really short and simple like This move is slow, and it lags when she touches slow unless you're godly at auto canceling, which I am not at the moment. I don't think you can even auto cancel Ike's fair with a short hop. If you can, I suck at it. But yeah, this move is not safe. It's slow, and if you do it up close, and you your opponent blocks it you're open for a hit but if you space the move it's really hard to punish because the move might be slow but it has range plus on top of that the hit stun so if you space it a move that is not safe actually becomes safe if that makes any sense to you guys so yes back to Zelda where is she okay back to her you're gonna wanna learn how to space your moves with Zelda. Learn your range. So your slow moves are safe on block. Like around this distance. I'm gonna move up a little more right about here. That would hit. Or down tilt, same thing. So with Zelda, you wanna keep a distance where you can throw out your moves. And if they block it, it's safe. So you won't get punished. Because if you do it too close, you know, it's, they have more time to punish you. You space your moves. This, or you space a down smash. I don't know if a down I think a down smash could be punished even if it's safe. I am not sure. I don't remember. I can say, oh, excuse me. I just say, you guys can correct me on that. Um, but I say her safe moves if space is that this um, Her down tilt especially if you space her down tilt you can start a down tilt pressure game so that uh, yeah, 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 yeah. What else what else what else? Forward tilt pretty much if her ground moves this so just space that uh, space this space this if anything you're gonna throw out a forward smash space it because if they block it it's really a hard move to punish out of block due to the hit stun but if you do it too close yeah you're gonna get punished so yeah one two three four Space these moves if you're going to throw them out. And you are not sure if they're going to hit or if your opponent is going to block. That way you don't leave yourself open. So, there you go. You have that. Now, when you space your moves. And you know your range. It's time to open people up and bait reactions where they think they are safe. But they're really not. And you can get a free hit. This is something known as a frame trap. So here's a perfect example of a frame trap. 
let's say I do this I got Nucha Air them right and I land behind them and I auto cancel the Nucha Air your opponent might try to either jab out the shield down smash out the shield or turn around down smash whatever they want to do some cases back air out the shield whatever now I'll tell you for a fact for a fact if they do any ground move out of shield outside of meta um not meta nice outside of um Bowser's up B cause you know it's invincible they try to attack you out of shield with anything they're going to get hit because you can just do turn around turn around down tilt which is I mean, you can do that too. Uh, turn around forward smash. It's really good. So new. So you neutral air land behind them, and then do a quick turn around forward smash. I mean down smash. You do not want to turn around and do a forward smash because this move is slow. It doesn't start up right away. I'll get you the data on the speed of that because you know it's always good to know how quick your moves are or be reviewed of it in case you forget. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I was just looking at her smash attacks. Got you. Full smash. 16 frames. 16. This is almost. That's about as close as Peach's forward air. 16 frames. You do not want to be this close on somebody's shield and do this. Because anything they will do out of shield will most likely snuff out your your full smash. So when you're close and you have somebody on shield, you want to do quick options. So you um you can punish them for it. And you don't leave yourself open in case they block. So, in this case, uh, a good way to open somebody up is you do that behind them, right? And it hits, you land, do a quick turnaround down tilt. Now, let me see. Oh, this controls is shit. Oh my god. Come on, come on, come on. There you go, like that. Quick turn around down tilt. Oh, I suck at this right now. There you go. Now, I would advise doing this over a quick, you know, turn around down smash because. If you're that close and they block it, they might be able to punish you depending on what option they have. Or they can just roll away. Or sidestep it, if anything. And they could get away from you and then you have to worry about approaching your opponent again, which you already know is not fun to approach with this character at all. So, that's why the down toe is good because... You can start a pressure game. You know, the shield stun is there. And if they try to drop their shield to an attack or even jump, the shield stun can mess up their timing and you can get a free down tilt combo. So that's a good way to start off pressure. Because as I say, if you do this, you know, you don't want to do this or do this. Because look, I just reset the position. Now I have to worry about approaching the character again and trying to get damage that I possibly could have baited and had if I would have stood near the opponent. Especially if they got a projectile and they mean campy. If you're fighting a campy person, you want to stay on their ass at all times. Especially with Zelda. You don't want to give them room because it says Zelda has a hard time getting in on people. She has a hard time closing the gap. So when that 
and you have a chance to get in and you get in, you make sure you stay on that ass. It's really important with Zelda to learn how to stay stay on top of somebody. I know it's hard, especially with matchups, but if you want to do justice and win, you have to stay on them because think about it. You're really gonna get good decent damage if you stay on them. I mean, you can't really you can't really do this shit all day. Unless somebody awkwardly doesn't know how to deal with it. But against a smart opponent, you can't do that shit all day. Especially if they just baited, they can just power shield. And remember, you're open for a long time after it detonates. Like, watch. See how long it took me to shield? After the blast? I can't shield right away. So, keep that in mind. So, yeah. A good way to open somebody up is you can just do that. Land behind them. Out the neutral air, they block it. Reverse down tilt. They block that, start the pressure. So that's one way. Another thing is, you know, jab. Jab to down tilt. If they block it. Uh, another good way to open somebody up with Zelda. You can... I don't know if you can like forward tilt, forward tilt to down tilt. Let me see. That's the link. Wow, I got a phantom hit there. That shit has godly ass range. Holy shit, range is really good. But yeah, those are some good ways of opening up somebody. Uh, let's see what else is there. How long was this video? Twelve minutes. Okay. Uh, yeah, those are, well, with her neutral air, like, off the air, you know, do that, you land behind them. If you land in front of them, you can down tilt. If you auto-cancel the nair, down tilt is really good. Don't really, don't, like, neutral air and then do that. Because, like I said, if they block it, you're open. You don't want that. So just do this to this. Pretty much when you get close and you think somebody's going to stay on this shield, do this. It's really good pressure. You start pressure once you get in. This move is really good to open people up. It's really good. So you have that. Uh, Let's see what else is there. Uh, hmm. let's say you have a really defensive opponent. Well, I'll put it this way. First with Zelda, depending on the matchup that you're in, whatever, you want to condition your opponent to block a lot. You have to put fear in them to block. And a way to block is, you know, what I was telling you before, you know, you do things like this, frame trap them, you know, you do this, they think they're safe. No, you're not. You do this, they try to attack. You think they're safe? No, you're not. You do this? No, you're not safe. You no. You're not gonna no. You're not gonna no. Denied. I don't know if forward tilt will work, but yeah. When you do stuff like that and you hit them, they're going to be scared to push a button because they're gonna think, oh, you're gonna do that shit again. They do not want to get hit. So, in some cases, they'll be shielding. Now, when you condition them to shield, that's when you do your pressure strings. Like, you know, you jab once and you down tilt. Or, you know, you jab twice because the shield might push them back and they might try to drop their shield to shield grab you. You know, do that. I say two, two jabs at best. If anything, jab to that. You can probably jab to a forward tilt if you think they're going to drop their shield or jump this can catch jumps especially if you angle it it can catch jumps it's a it's somewhat of a good anti-air somewhat it depends on your timing and spacing and who you're fighting and the option that they have in front of them especially in the air let's keep that in mind because this move is not that fast but it has good range and is good for spacing and keeping yourself safe good for Good to open people up to if you're good at it. But yeah. 
So when you condition your opponent to block, that's when you do your pressure strings. One good pressure string to open somebody up, like I said before, you can neutral air, neutral air, and then jab. When you neutral air and then jab, it eats up a good amount of your opponent's shield, especially if it's not full, and you can get a free down tilt poke. So that's a good way to open somebody up when they're blocking. Neutral air, jab once, down tilt, if they block everything. Make sure to space your jab because they block. Remember, jab is not safe. They can punish you in time. You space your jab, get all the hits in with the hits done, and then you just go to jab. So, see, it's not that slow. Especially if they hit on shield. So yeah, utilize that, utilize this, and you're pretty much good to go. That's how you open somebody up. Now, I'll cut this video here, and I will show you a way, like when you open somebody up and they have a habit, how to abuse it. Like what options can you do? Cause I'm pretty sure you fight somebody like you know, especially if you're, you know, better than them. You have a better thought pattern. You have more mind games than them. You know, whatever the case may be, you're getting all hype. You're doing all this, and then sometimes when you throw out attacks, you see them do this shit a lot. And sometimes they'll leave you open, and you get frustrated, and then you get hit with you know attack. But like you know, ugh, I know I'm better than this person, but they keep hitting me like. They keep moving around too much, and they get cheap damage, and, you know, I could probably lose a stock, or it'll cost me a match, or I'm having a harder time than I should be. You don't want that. We're going to shut that shit down. We, you, you ain't having that no more. So, within the next video, I'm going to teach you ways to open people up, force those habits, and punish it. So, until then, peace.